started off. My name is Mrs. Keshmarek. I'm the music teacher here at the Lafayette School. And on behalf of myself and the music team, Mrs. Polska, Mr. Keshmarek, and Ms. Devlin, and of course, Mr. Brady, uh, we welcome you to the 2024 Veterans Day performance. Um, just a little piece of something that we can do to give our thanks to all the veterans out there. So I hope you enjoy the show and you learn a lot today. That's what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> 
Veterans Day is a very important holiday in our country, for it honors all men and women living in and dead who bravely served our country and one of the United States Armed Forces. In 1918, on the 11th hour of the 11th day in the 11th month, the world rejoiced in celebrating. After four years of bitter war, the Allied powers signed an agreement called the Armistice. This action brought World War I to an end. November 11, 1919 was set aside as Armistice Day in the United States to remember all the sacrifices that our armed forces made during the time of World War I.
Thank you for waiting patiently and quietly. We really appreciate that. We have a few um, young ladies and gentlemen this morning that are doubling on violin and chorus, so we need to give them time to get on and off. Back up. Officially received its, received its name in the United States in 1926. Twelve years later, Armistice Day became a national holiday. Then in 1938, 20 years after World War I, it became a federal holiday. The townspeople in Emporia, Kansas, called the holiday Veterans Day in 1953. They did this so that all the veterans living in the town could be honored for their sacrifice. Beginning in 1954, the United States designated November 11th as Veterans Day to honor all the veterans who served our country. Every year on November 11th, we honor the men and women who make this country the land of the free and the home of the brave.
to, to over 667,000 American service members who have died in battle. We can repay over 1.4 million service members who were wounded in a line of duty. We can, however, recognize, honor, and thank more than 25 million veterans still living today. Today is our privilege and honor to say thank you to all the American veterans. To let them know that we appreciate them and their families for their sacrifices. If you are a veteran and you are able, would you please stand so that we recognize you?
price of freedom is high. We cannot afford to forget those who are willing to pay. The red poppy is a nationally recognized symbol of our sacrifice worn by Americans since World War I to honor those who served and died for our country in all wars. It reminds Americans of the sacrifices made by our veterans while protecting our freedoms. Wear a poppy to honor those who have worn our nation to. We need to do our best to make ourselves worthy of our veterans' courage and sacrifice. 
We need to live with the spirit by which our nation's veterans have so nobly served. The spirit of courage. The spirit of 